Hey all, in this guide I'll be showing you how to find and capture every bug snack and snack pod in Garden Grove. It's worth noting that there are generally multiple ways to capture most of the various bug snacks in the game, and this guide will just be demonstrating a single simple way to go about each capture. Bunger can be lured around the map with ketchup from your sauce slinger. Later game, you can just lead him straight into a tripwire. Early game, you can lead Bunger to another Bunger. Cover one or both in ketchup and wait for them to knock each other out, then snag them with your net. Bunger. For Frider, we'll use the Sauce Slinger and the Snack Trap. Set the Snack Trap below Frider and back up a little bit. Use your Sauce Slinger to cover the trap in ketchup. Then just spring the trap when Frider comes down to investigate. Frider. Shishkabug can be caught with just the Sauce Slinger. Use your slinger to cover shishkabug with ketchup and let a bunger bowl it over. Then just collect it with your net. If you scare shishkabug into a bush, you can use your slinger to cover the bush in ketchup and let a bunger knock it loose. Shishkabug will make a break for another bush. Place a snack trap between its bushes before a bunger knocks it loose, and then spring the trap when shishkabug tries to flee. Shishkabug! Sweetie Fly shows up in the zone between 4 a.m. and 4 p.m., so sleep in a bed until 5 a.m. to get them to appear. To catch it, we'll use the lunch pad and the snack trap. Place the lunch pad nearby Sweetie Fly and use the aim trigger to lock the trajectory onto it. The line will change from orange to blue when it's locked on. Place your snack trap on the lunch pad and then wait for Sweetie Fly to get tired and land somewhere nearby. Activate the lunch pad to launch the trap then spring it as soon as it gets in range. The trap net will turn blue and make a plink noise when it's ready to spring. Just recall your trap and try again if you miss. White strawby is a very simple capture, same as standard strawby. Place your trap on top of white strawby's path, back up to wait for it to emerge from hiding, and then spring your trap. Sodi is another very easy capture, requiring only the snack trap. Scan it with your camera to reveal its path, then place your trap somewhere in front of it. Spring it as soon as it gets in range. Sorry? Weenie Worm will require the sauce slinger and the snack trap. Set the snack trap nearby Weenie Worm and back up a bit. Use your sauce slinger to cover the trap in ketchup, then spring the trap when Weenie Worm gets close. Cob hopper is a little bit tricky to catch and requires the tripwire. Observe it for a moment to see what trees it leaps between, then set up a tripwire that crosses one of its paths. It can be a little bit tricky to find the right positioning, but cob hopper always follows the same path as every leap, so just keep trying until you get it just right. Wait for cob hopper to leap into your wire, then collect it with your net or your grappler. There are five snack pods in each zone, including this one, and they will all respawn only once you've captured all five. You can capture snack pods with your grapple or by getting close and using your net. Keep watching for the location of all five snack pods in the zone. Thanks for watching! Like and sub for more gaming tips, and happy gaming! Nick Bob.